Battling opioid addiction can come in many forms. And a local man decided to hit a heavy bag instead of the bottle, and now he's bringing that idea to others. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau tells us about it in this week's Street Story. He had never boxed before, but had battled demons far worse outside the ring for about a decade. Up, up, hook, hook, roll out, roll out to the side. There we go. The heavyweight in the ring was a mortgage broker, but says he began to live a little fast as soon as he turned 21. Pump, 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 pump. Dig, hup, dig, hup. It yeah. went downhill until about two years ago, hup. when he faced losing his son, One, two, hook, or giving up his addiction to alcohol and opioids. Dig, dig, right here. There we go. The addiction, the drugs, the alcohol uh, fills you with these demons that you really have a tough time to trying to fight off. They had the claws in on me, and I fought back. My lowest was probably um, a depression so low that I wanted to commit suicide. That's it. Just get your hands moving, that's all. Leon Cello is one of several fighters who are taking street fight frustrations into a refereed ring as part of Brawl for It All, created by former boxer Jared Tillinghast and Richard Capiella. Yeah, come on. Fellow fighter Dino Wamet is a Brawl for It All regular. Are the grudges real? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Not a drummed up thing, these are real grudges. No, they're real. Leon Cello's grudge involves a family member who is also using boxing to fight addiction. Separating, call it love, and appreciation and respect for what he's going through. There you go, nice. That's set aside, because at the end of the day, we're going to beat each other up, and we're going to shake hands and um, go on our path and maybe help each other after that. He's taking that one step farther by introducing the sweet science to other recovering addicts, and he says he has seen it help them too. Does that feel good to see other it people doing good. that? It feels good, yeah. That's my recovery, is seeing what these guys are doing. I found that hitting a bag compared to drinking, uh, hitting the bottle, the healthier choice, the more uh, rational choice is to hit a bag. There will be a total of 12 grudge matches on the card on Friday the 13th. In Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.